just 18 seconds worth, but I figured I might as well talk while I'm doing this. Uh, basically, I'm just poly painting where I might want my lines to go, so I don't have to commit with a mask or anything. I can always turn this into a mask later, uh, doing mask by color and uh, that kind of thing, but just a quick cleanup with a little bit of poly paint to decide what I want to do here. So I'm going through here and I'm poly painting on here to determine like where I want my panel line cuts to be, and I could either separate this out as completely separate pieces of geo, or I keep mentioning rebuilding these things, which I may do in the case of this simple shape right here inside the nose. Or I could go through and, like I said, separate this whole thing off as its own mesh and then uh, just have that as a separate piece. Another thing you could consider is if you're doing just really fine detail, like little fine cut lines in here, you can also do that in the texture. So you can take this, uh, you can just leave this uh, volume in here and then go through and non-destructively cut this into your texture in like Substance Painter later on. But I'll kind of leave that up to you. Now over here you're going to notice, I originally masked this out, so I can go through here and if we alt tap here, we can go through and we can like mask any area like we did before, control tap to invert that mask, go and set this and you can move this in and out or you can rotate it around to get kind of interesting shapes. But in this case, what I did was I went through and masked and then I went through and poly painted. And the reason for that is if I go through here now, I can always do a mask by color and we could do a mask by hue and that'll go through and kind of mask. Uh, and in, in this instance, it looks like it masked. If we go up here and turn off our colorize here, it kind of masks, uh, it kind of masks this, unmasks this all the way, and then this one a little bit less, and this one even less. Uh, to get something a little bit more cons uh, precise, we can go in here to masking, mask by color, and we can do mask by poly paint, and then we can tell it, you know what, for this uh, mask here, I'm going to click here and just click and drag and mask out this red area and say OK. I can control tap that now, and then hit W and go through here, and on an individual basis, go through and modify these. Now, if you wanted to unmask all of those, we can go back into Mask by Poly Paint. You can just drag on here and then drag on here and grab all three of those and then hit OK. Uh, but the reason I separated them out by color is if I go through here, it might be a little difficult for me to go through and push all of these in at once. You're seeing this one's kind of weird up here. It's kind of going that through and it's a little bit harder to control. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go through one by one, Mask by Poly Paint, and we'll just say, Let's go ahead and reset these. I'm just going to mask this red one here, hit OK, Control tap to invert that, Alt tap to set my pivot there, and then just manually go through and maybe push this back. And then go back into Mask by Poly Paint, grab the orange, Control tap to invert. And you don't have to Control tap to invert. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my pivot down, hold down Alt, and just rotate this down, and then again rotate this one in. Uh, but if you go in here to Mask by Poly Paint, and then you grab the blue, for example, you can just tell it in here, invert that mask before you head out, and that'll go ahead and do it for you. Rotate this, and now we can rotate this back. Control drag, and let's go ahead and turn off Poly Paint, or we can go up here to Color. Let's go ahead and choose a white color, Color, Fill Object. That'll go ahead and refill that, or again, you can go in here and turn off Poly Paint. So that's just a way to kind of organize your masks using Poly Paint. And then if you wanted to clean these up, uh, you could have done, instead of just masking and pushing those straight back, you could have done an edge loop mask border, and that might have given you a little bit of a smoother result, um, but I think we'll be okay with this. And let's give you one more alternative. We talked about it, how you could get a slightly cleaner result, and we might as well do it. So I'm going to turn off line on here, and just like before, you could go through and you could slice uh, through here to get a nice clean slice here, but um, let's just do it with masking. Sometimes you just got to go in here and just mask a shape. So we'll just go ahead and mask. Actually, let's go ahead and we'll do two uh, so we can get a little bit more uh, examples or pitfalls you may fall into. So we'll go ahead and mask this through, and then we'll hold down Control Alt and we'll just mask that through here. Control Alt Tap to clean that mask up, and then you can go through here. You can even hold down Control and go into like Mask Curve, and then hold, uh, just tap Alt a couple times, you can go through and then hold on Alt and you can clean it up that way as well. But let's say we're generally happy with this, with our mask pin here. And again, so I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold down Control and tap to blur it out a couple times and then Control Alt to clean that up. And then we'll go back in here to our geometry, edge loop mask border. And if I turn on our lines again, you're gonna see it's gonna cut a cleanish line through here. We could go through here and isolate this, and then if I go through here and we do deformation, polish by feature, open circle. Open circle is just, closed circle maintains your volumes. Uh, open circle just polishes the heck out of it. Um, so you can try one if it's polishing too much. You can do closed circle, but I like to do open circle, generally speaking. That gives me a nice clean cut line through here. I'm going to hit W, and again, um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, 
Control Shift tap these to isolate them. And if you're working across symmetry, which I'm not, in fact, let's let's talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a uh, mirror and welds where we have it on both sides. If I isolate this and then I do a uh, auto groups, that's going to put different groups on both sides. So I want to make sure Control Shift tap bring everything else back. Do another mirror and weld. Got the same poly group on both sides. Now I can hit W, Control tap these individually and isolate and do whatever I want to with them. However, we want a nice clean cut line through here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold down Alt. I'm gonna rotate from this top part here, but I'm going to hit Y, which is going to toggle off our gizmo into transpose mode, and then I'm just going to hit E to go into scale mode, and then hold down control, and that's going to pull in an edge ring uh, through here, so I can stay nice and clean through here, and then I'll hit Y to switch back to my gizmo, and now I can just hold down Alt, we'll go ahead and rotate it so we're looking down that, and then we'll go ahead and rotate this in. So again, we get a nice clean uh, cut line through here. And of course you can go through here and you can clean this up with like H polish or just use your move or even before you go through and you do this, just make sure, I guess let's try this. Let's hit Y and then E and then we're going to hold down control and bring this in. And if you see any wobbly stuff while this thing is masked, just go through here and you can just kind of clean it up a little bit. Just use your move brush, get it close enough for government work. You can control tap to invert that mask and you can kind of even this line out like this. Uh, and then of course um, just hit hit W, and in this case, uh, we can control tap this if we ever lose our mask, alt tap where we want it to go, hold down alt and reset that pivot, and then just pull that in, get a nice clean cut, and then just one more time, uh, we'll do it again, W, control tap over here, so this is masked, hit Y to switch back to transpose mode, uh, I'm going to go up here to the top because that's where I'm going to rotate it from, hit E, just go into scale mode, hold down control, so I can pull in an edge ring here, maybe do some slight wobbly line clean up in here, control tap to invert that to kind of again just clean up some of these lines through here and then control tap to invert that again, hit W to go back into move mode, uh, hit Y to switch back to gizmo, hold down alt to set that pivot so it rotates in the direction we want and then simply rotate this back and that'll give you, let's turn all this off here, and we'll go back to solo mode, uh, that'll give you a little bit of a cleaner result, we can control drag to go ahead and Dynamesh, which I didn't have Dynamesh turned on. Um, if that's not high res enough, just crank up your resolution and then Dynamesh. And then you can go through here. And again, you can H polish, or you can smooth uh, these results. I have Smooth Stronger turned on, so I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. And we can just smooth that out just a tiny bit. Here's another thing you might find useful. If I hit W, I go into gizmo mode, and if I hit Y, we go into transpose mode. If I want to make a straight line through here, um, you're seeing right now I'm having to like kind of go through and kind of paint this thing. I can hold down control and unmask areas, but it's not going to be uh, the direction that I want it to go. I can go in here to like lazy mouse and play around with some of these functions, uh, snap to track and stuff like this. We go backtrack, snap to track, line, and then we can hold down control and then alt and see if uh, that'll kind of do that as well. But another option you can try so you can go into W with transpose mode and you can put your transpose line in the direction that you'd want and then hold down control and tap that little uh, white circle and then you can go through here and you can alt, hold down control alt and just unmask a bar. So just to show you that again, if I want to go from here to here, let's say hold down control, that'll move your, oops, hold down control and tap that little white uh, circle that'll move your camera around and then you can simply just go through here and unmask as needed. And then of course I'm going to hit Y to go back into gizmo mode. It's my default mode. I'm going to hold down Control and Tap to blur that out a little bit. Control Alt Tap to invert that. Control Tap to invert that. And then I can go through here. Now at this point, um, if I tried to go through here and like do my um, light weighting like this, uh, I can kind of get it to work. But again, I'm probably going to have to go through individually and light weight or uh, rotate from the outer edge of uh, all of these. In fact, I'm probably yeah, I'm probably going to do it from this side here. Keep this side solid and then go through and push in uh, these areas in here, but it's going to be a little bit difficult on this complex of a shape. So in this instance, what I'm going to do again is uh, just kind of work my way around the color wheel and we'll go through here, standard brush RGB turned on, and we'll just color this one a certain color and then uh, make this one an easily selectable color and then this one an easily selectable color and then this one green, this one yellow. And then now that I have that, I can go through here and we can go back to our masking as by poly paint and then just drag off and uh, do what we did before. We can actually invert that mask, hit OK, control tap, 
oops, don't have the control tab if you invert it. Start in that top here, hold down Alt, rotate this in the direction I want it to go. Go ahead and pull this in. And in this case, we can also try um, to smooth those edges out a little bit more. I have to show you this a little bit better. Let's turn off our poly paint here. So if we go through here and we do a geometry edge loop mask border, that'll smooth that line out a bit. And we can also go through here and we can run a polish by features to smooth that out even more. And I'll mask, invert that mask. And if we hold down control and pull in, that'll pull in an edge ring. And then I can go through here and I can move this around. So we can kind of use that to our advantage too to give us a, a little bit of a smoother transition. We can alt tap to invert that mask and go through here and we can straighten out these lines uh, just a little bit. Again, you can also use Booleans. You can go through and remodel this and build these in. Uh, but for now, we're keeping it simple. Work out any of those kinks, control drag. And if you control drag again, it's going to dynamesh. Uh, that, I lost my other poly paints there. I'm going to undo back through there. But I'm just showing you another technique that will give you a little bit of a nicer line and then you control drag. Um, at this point, you may consider going through here and raising up that resolution of your dynamesh uh, just to give you a little bit cleaner uh, results. All right, just to finish this out, a little bit of a time lapse of me doing exactly that. It gets a little bit tedious. Uh, and this may be a case to be made for maybe using Booleans for this. You get a little more control. It's slightly less destructive and that you get to move the geometry around. Uh, if I ever needed to make changes to this, I'd basically have to start from scratch. Whereas if you Boolean this, um, you have a lot of leeway. So Booleaning would be like when we made that socket in the side of his head. Just go through there, draw the geometry. Um, do some Z modeling. You can even go through and add bevels and like basically right here, <laughs> that piece right there, just happen to be a live Boolean. Uh, if you want to work a little less destructively, I was looking more for techniques to try out on this just for instructional purposes. Um, if I wasn't a production setting, then yes, I would absolutely Boolean those little back notches out just like this one. Um, and then once it's decided, then you can go through and be like, okay, I want to be a little more destructive and just dynamesh this stuff together like I did there. But um, you know, this, this got the idea across, and, uh, and I'm going to use some planer brush trying to clean this up a little bit.